Right, so at this stage of the video, we are able to log in a person. So I'm going to say gmail.com, chuck at gmail.com. And I think my password was 12345. And uh, if I click on login, you can see it logs in this person successfully. Now, if we remove this activity totally, and I open up my application again, you can see it's taking me back to the login screen. Whereas in our Java file where we log in the user, uh, you'll remember, let me just see where's the login, that we add the stay logged in true value there, which means that th we want this user to stay logged in. Okay, so this is one thing now that's not working 100% as we would like. So actually the user is logged in, but it takes him back to the login page when we start this whole application. So in this video, we will handle this part to see if the user is currently valid and then log him in automatically without him needing to log in his details again. Right, so what we're going to do is to go into our login activity and then you'll see that we start with the button and set the on-click listener and the register button and set the on-click listener and the TV reset. So after all those uh, on-click listeners, we can do some coding that will actually run before these because these are just listening for something to happen. So what we'll do now will actually start before anything of uh, that happens inside of these on-click listeners. Okay, so we're going to do something here. So what we'll do is to go to back endless right at the start and we're going to call the user service and we're going to check first or if this if this login this user that's currently login if it's a valid login so if it's a valid login and we're basically just going to say new async callback there and if it's a valid login it's going to go to handle response Remember, we said that that user, we, we set it to true there, stay logged in. So now we're checking, is it still valid, this guy that, that will be currently logged in? So we're checking, if it's valid, it will the Boolean value there will be true, otherwise it, it will be false. If there's something that's, uh, that's wrong, we'll just display a toast here and tell the user error and go to fault.get message. Right, and then also we must remember that just before this, we can show the progress now by passing in the true value, and we'll try to log in this user without going to the login uh, screen first. So we'll, firstly, we'll show the show progress. So just remember that right from the start, we're just setting up components here. This is just setting up an on-click list, and only when the user clicks on it, it will, it will execute this code. This code won't execute right at the start. Also, this code won't execute right at the start unless the user clicks on the button. Also, this part. So by calling show progress, the user will actually, right from the start, see nothing on the screen. If you're worried about that, you can also cut that and just paste it somewhere here uh, in the front, just after you've set up these three lines of coding. Okay, so I'm going to start showing the progress there. And then we check if it's a valid login. If it's not a valid login or if there's a, if there's a problem, we will need to show progress to set show progress to false so that we can carry on and log in the user right so now if we can test here if that response is true what do we want to do it means now that this is a valid login and we want to take the user now uh, to the next activity well, well we've got we've seen that it's a valid login but we need to get the user so if you want to get the user after this uh, the else part there will just be if it's not a valid login we will basically just call show progress and set the value to false so that he can log in but if it is a valid login you can directly take him to the new activity or you can first get that user so if you want to get that user we'll need to follow the following procedure you need to first get the user's object id so we're going to say object id equals now we're going to go to the user uh, let me just see, user ID storage factory. And that's what that true value did there for us. It stored it somewhere on the phone that this user is still going to be logged in. So we're going to go to the user ID storage factory dot instance dot get storage dot get. And that gets me now basically the object ID for the user that we want to have currently logged in. And then we're going to go to back endless dot data dot of and now we need to indicate the class that we want to access in the back endless cloud. So we want to use the back endless user class. That's the one we want that we want to access. 
and we want to find the user or let's just say find by ID we want to find that user by its ID and we're going to use that user object ID that we just had there this user object ID that's the one that we want to search for and find by ID and then the next argument is just the async callback again and you could close it off with a semicolon okay so basically what we're doing now we're checking is it still a valid login is there a user that's already logged in uh, and if it's true we get that user's object id by calling user id factory dot instance dot get storage dot get and then we go to back in this we make a connection again go to the back in this user class get that user by its id so that you have the whole back endless user object there and that this response then if they if such a user is currently logged in and uh, you've got that user it will be this response if anything went wrong with this we're going to go to the toast there and we can just say error again fault dot get message and then we can also remember to just set the show progress to false there and the progress will stop showing and the user will again be back at the login right so if if we've got this user now then we know we the user is currently a valid login and we've got the user now we can start the activity and take him to the landing page so the landing page will basically be our main activity right so how do we take him there we will say new intent uh, we will start with the login activity login dot this as the context and we want to take him to the main activity dot class and then after this we can just basically go and say well this is the login class so we're going to say login dot this dot finish and we finish off this class so basically he will then directly go to the main activity and this class will finish so if everything anything fails here uh, the progress dialog will just be stopped and we will carry on logging in that specific user so we can just quickly test this uh, oh by the way uh, we'll, we'll do that now uh, we can also set the text on that progress bar to something else and we'll do that now right so now it runs the application again you can see this is now uh, the, the part that we coded and it takes it back uh, to the, the the landing page so what we can do now is to go into the settings just go to settings of the app and we're going to go to the apps let's go to app info and I'm going to search for my app that's called contacts 2018 and what we can do now is to go to storage and clear the data as well as clear the cache right and then we can start this application again so we can open up start the application and then the login information will be gone so now if we want to register a new user you can do this now so let's just try having something else here chuck2 at gmail.com or let's just call it chuck2 and we'll have chuck2 at gmail.com and the password will be 12345 and 12345 and let's register so you can see loading please wait so we can change that text to say registering please wait so let's quickly go to the register activity and where we start showing uh, where do we register here uh, so basically here yeah, we start showing the progress so we can go and call TV load dot set text and we set the text to that text view as busy registering user please wait okay and now if we run it again and try that part again you will see the text change on that part right let's try and register a third person quickly here yeah? so this will be chuck3 and it will be chuck3 at gmail.com 12345 12345 and now look at the load screen busy registering user please wait and then you're done okay so now we can log in this user i'm going to use chuck at gmail.com and I'm going to log in with one, two, three, four, five. Now let's look at this login. When we click login, uh, let me just see that one also. So if we click on login, 
we show the progress. So we can also set the TV load here, set the text for TV load to be something else. So we can say busy logging you in, please wait. Right, I'm just going to run that app again. Okay, let's log in again, chuck at gmail.com, one, two, three, four, five, and then we can say login, busy logging you in, please wait. Logged in successfully, we are in. Okay, so now we close down the app totally, and we open up the app again. So what will happen now? It goes into the first part, and it says loading, please wait again. So now instead of saying loading, please wait, we can change that also. But you can see it's been take, we've been taken directly to the new activity or the first activity. Now let's go down. You can see here we start showing the progress true. Uh, you, you could have done it there at the bottom as well. So then we go into the user server and check whether, um, whether we can log in this guy. So we can also set TV load here. So we can say set text. And when we want to check if the user is logging, so we can basically say something like checking login credentials. Please wait. And then as soon as we get into this part where we know this guy is fine, it is true there, we can then say yeah, TV load, we can change it again. We can set text um, login logging you in please wait right so let's try that one again and then when we're done uh, with logging in the show progress will be done and so forth so let's just run and see how it works now so now remember when this app starts uh, it will basically start with the login activity which will try to log in the user automatically so there we go, checking logging credentials, logging you in. And so you can see we move from the one text view to the one, the one part where we just started it. If this one is done and we know it's true, then we can change the text to logging you in, please wait. So which is quite nice. So if I go back and I remove this, start the application again, you will see that it also goes checking logging credentials, logging you in, please wait, and we are at the new page. Or we are at the main activity now the last thing for this video is to just quickly go to your reset button or your reset part and also set the load there so we can also here say tv load dot set text and set some text here so remember when we ask the user to reset his password it will go into this part show the the progress and then it goes in and tries to restore the password so we can say something like busy sending reset instructions please wait and that's your load button okay so that's basically then it for this video we are done with for this video video you know how to log in a new user how to register a user uh, you know how to reset the password and you know how to keep a log a user logged in so see you in the next video we will start with the main page of the application